What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dev here, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Have I mentioned before how much I love this game? I just loaded in the game, was walking through my house, and I just got this stupid smile on my face because of the music, and I, I don't know, I just love this game. I got up early and fed all the farm animals. I hope that makes your job a little easier today. Thank you, Leah. It most certainly does. Mwah. All right, let's check our mail. Figured I'd give you this recipe I had lying around. Try not to burn it. Spicy eel. Thank you, George. <laughs> Hello, D-Dub. This item was collecting dust in the tool shed. I figured you might be able to use it. Thanks for the battery, Kent. Wow, so much mail. One week from today, we're holding the Stardew Valley Fair in the town square. Nine items over our grange display. We need to start thinking about that. Okay, there are two, two main goals for today's episode. Number one, get a lot of iron. A lot of it. We need a lot more iron. Uh, to finish off all the kegs in our cellar. And secondly, we also need to get into the witch's hut. That's our goal for today. So if you guys remember last episode, we were blocked by that little goblin henchman. And I said I had, I think, three initial thoughts. Either Krobus, the dwarf, or... Oh, things are... Ooh! And maybe a third plan as well. We can now fancify our greenhouse and yes that is a word fancify Ooh, this is awesome okay we'll come back and give this some thought in a little bit i got other things i want to do first though um i'm gonna just talk while we do all this real quick though Ooh, and our yams are ready as well heck yes okay sorry i got a lot lot going in my mind right now um i mentioned that we could go to either the goblin or sorry not the goblin Krobus or the dwarf and we went to both of them, I believe, and neither of them had anything useful to say. We're not gonna have the inventory space for all this. <laughs> Jeez. I just saw that, and with this hair, or hay, I thought it was Linus. I Don't ask me why. Anyway, or we could go to the museum, and I think I want to hit up the museum first. No, actually... And I didn't mention it, but we also could probably go talk to the wizard and tell him, Hey, by the way, there's a goblin block in the way. Uh, do you have any ideas? And maybe he will. I don't know. But that's kind of my plan for the time being. Sorry, my inventory. This is a hot mess. Let me get this straightened out. I'm going to take care of crops and animals so I can actually do things and focus on them. And then when we're back, we're going to take care of our greenhouse. And then we'll head off and see if we can't find some answers. Okay, that took way too long. I am not thinking clearly. I had to make three trips for the different seeds, and I planted some of the seeds in the wrong spot. And I'm a hot mess this morning, apparently. Anyway, we're going to get rid of these ancient fruit. I feel weird doing this, because, again, they're ancient fruit. <laughs> but it's it's okay. And we didn't grab fertilizer. My goodness, I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, I am a hot mess this morning, guys. I am forgetting everything. <laughs> it's terrible. Anyway, we need to go ahead and get these planted. And by these, last episode, I was saying on day two of last episode, we'd be doing a little bit of a cooking spree. And uh, I realized that one of the ingredients I needed, which was an artichoke, we didn't have any artichokes planted. Like, not a single one. So that's a thing. So we're going to have to plant those, and I meant to plant them all in here, but I accidentally planted artichokes instead of our bok choy in our bottom right plot of our fields. So that's a thing. <laughs> See what I mean about being a hot mess this morning? Anyway, we need to get all this fertilized, and then, and I realize this is just quality fertilizer. I'm not planting anything that's going to be a repeat harvests or that gives multiple yields. This is all just kind of one-time stuff. And I don't know how this is going to look as far as spacing because I did not budget the correct number of seeds. Yeah, this should be interesting looking. But anyway, this is going to be our greenhouse. And it's it's beautiful. We've got our permanent stuff up top, the top two rows, the coffee supplies and ancient fruit just for money and speed. And then we've got whatever crops we need, which will be super handy, I think, especially when it comes to making all the recipes. Oh boy, okay. Let's see if I can't clean things up for the rest of this episode. It's doubtful, but it's it's possible. Alright, it's already 2.30. Holy crap. 
Okay, we're gonna hit up the wizard first. We've got that. We need to grab Applejack, and I will meet you guys at the wizard. We're gonna pay him a visit and see if he knows anything about that goblin. All right, wizard, tell us what we need to know. I trust you enough to allow you in my basement. Okay, he has nothing for us. Whatever, that's fine. We're gonna go visit the museum next. That was my other guess, because we've already visited the dwarf and Krobus, and if there's nothing in the museum on the goblin, I'm gonna be at a loss for how to deal with that situation. Also, I'd see all these blackberries, but I don't wanna not make it to the museum today. We've already wasted enough time today. And as much as I want to grab all the blackberries, I don't really use them for much anymore, so it's not that big a deal. But, oh gosh. Uh, Vincent, I think we have something for you. Sorry, I'm like stressed right now, trying to get there in time. Probably shouldn't be stopping. And Kent, we have stuff for you too. And Jess, we don't have anything for you, but we are growing fairy roses. And I want to hopefully get some of those this week. I think we'll have enough time to get some. So we can give her those this week for her loved gifts. Okay, time to start checking every single bookshelf, because I have no idea... If this book is even here, I just feel like I saw it at one point in time. Ooh, okay, yes, it's here. Goblins by M. Jasper. The species commonly known as Goblin seems to have originated in the forests of the far northeast, beyond the Bluemeyer Hills. Characterized by their green skin, bright red eyes, and foul smell, initial encounters with goblins can be frightening for unexperienced travelers. Despite their unsettling appearance, goblins possess an intellectual and emotional capacity akin to humans and have no trouble learning our customs and languages. The goblins I've met have been rather friendly and amiable, once I've shown that I mean no harm. Unfortunately, centuries of distrust and ill treatment from humans has led goblins has led many goblins to pursue careers in the employ of witches, <laughs> which is our case, warlocks, necromancers, and other unsavory types. A traditional goblin diet largely consists of grub meat typically from the large and juicy grub varieties native to the goblin home forest. On special occasions, goblins will indulge in an item called void mayonnaise, considered perhaps the finest delicacy in all goblin cuisine. Boom, void mayo, got it, okay. And there's an Elliot here as well, who we can give un pomegranate to, lovely. All right, well we just came from there, but we need to go back to the farm I grab some void mayo, which I think I actually processed some today. If not, we should have some in our fridge, I think. I don't know. Either way, we need to go grab some void mayo and head up to the goblin. I'll meet you guys there. Hello, henchmen. We meet again. He can't let us pass or he'd lose his job, but apparently he'll be willing to lose his job over this, potentially. That smell. I can't resist. Give me that. Thanks. And I like how he runs inside where he's going to lose his job. Why not run the other way away from your boss? Whoa. This is cool. Ooh, is that the ink? The magic ink? You found the wizard is a lost magic ink. Better return it to him. Cool. Curse the Countryside, a spell book for the rural witch. <laughs> is this her broom that she flies around on? Whoever lives here must really like a clean floor. I don't think that's the case. You try not to make eye contact. Oh, is that an eyeball in there? The bone is probably covered in bacteria. You decide not to touch it. And what's this last one? Same thing. Ooh. Whoa. This is the wizard's basement. Whoa. We'll go back and look at those three like statue things up top. That's cool. There's a link between the two. That's awesome. You found my ink. Excellent. Uh. Did you happen to see my ex-wife? No? Well, what about her house? Do you think she lives alone? Or... <laughs> Just trying to do some recon here. Actually, don't tell me. I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, silly wizard. Anyway, you must be wondering about your reward. Here. What are we going to get for this? That was kind of a chore. A book? 
Thanks for the book, wizard? It's a book of summoning. The arcane potential is immense, but I'll make it simple for you. By using this book, you can summon magic buildings directly to your farm? What? I think you'll find it useful? Magic buildings? Oh, I almost forgot to say, um, thank you. Uh, what does he mean by magic buildings? Also, now I'm really wishing we hadn't visited the wizard today, because now this is two days. Oh! Junimos will harvest crops around the hut for you? I've seen these before. I don't know their range, but... Nine star fruit. We could get one of these made tomorrow if we wanted. And we might do that. I have... Ooh. It's really going to depend on the range of this thing. But we could replace our well with this. We don't need that well anymore. What else? Earth obelisk? Warps you to the mountains? 10 earth, 10 iridium, and 1 million gold? Okay. Same thing for the beach. Another million. And the gold clock. 10 million? Holy crap. Prevents debris from appearing on your farm. Keeps fences from decaying. Oh, that's a useful item. But 10 million gold useful? Okay. At least the Junima hut is within reach and doesn't look absolutely ridiculous. That actually looks kind of cool. We might get one of those tomorrow. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we might. Yeah, probably. Okay, that's cool. Let's go back to the wizard's hut if we can. I really hope we can. Okay, good. I want to check out what these three things are. They look like you could interact with them. Whoa. Dark Shrine of Selfishness. Your children will turn into doves and fly away. Make an offering of one prismatic shard. No! Why? <laughs> Dark Shrine of Memory. The statue stares through you. What? Okay. And Dark Shrine of Night Terrors. The ancient magic seal of protection will be lifted, allowing monsters to appear on your, f to appear on your farm at night. Make an offering of one strange bun. Why would I want that? No. Those are very not useful to me. Holy crap. That's kind of cool. I think that's the end of that quest line. Yeah. Skull Cavern. Sand Dragon. I, d I don't know what that is. I think that has something, something to do with Skull Cavern. And that's it. Cool. Sorry, I'm like dumbfounded right now. I've never done any of that before. That was awesome. Cool. Okay. So tomorrow, I gotta try and figure out the order I want to do some of this stuff in. Tomorrow, we'll come straight here and get ourselves a Junimo hut. It was 200 stone, 200 fiber. Oh, I'm hoping I'm remembering this correctly. And nine star fruit. If it's not... Oh, boy. I hope I remember that correctly. <laughs> if not, oh well. And then we need to go to Clint and get our pick back. I meant to do that today, but we kind of ran out of time. We didn't even get... We barely made it to the museum in time, much less Clint's, which closes two hours earlier. But I'm thinking we're just going to call it an early night. I'm going to cut a few trees here, and then we'll head to bed. Okay. It's bedtime, but let's check our casks first. I don't know how often these are going to produce things. So I want to keep kind of checking them. And I guess we could make blackberries into wine. I'll try a few of those. Just one. I think we have eight, right? I'll try one batch worth, see what they're worth. Probably not a whole lot, but since you can find them so readily available out and about. Oh, man. Okay. So we'll have to build the Junimo hut. Oh, we need to get Robin to remove the well first, don't we? We're just going to place the Junimo hut somewhere, and then I'm assuming it'll be treated as a building, and so I can go to Robin and get things moved around. 
Oh gosh, we have a lot to do today now. I was not planning on this. I was planning on just going mining and enjoying our peace in the mines and all that jazz, but no. We have a lot to do now. <laughs> Good morning, Charlie. Aren't you glad I didn't turn you into a dove and send you flying away? Probably so. <laughs> I don't... I can't believe that's an option. You can get rid of your kids. That just sounds so... excessive and not okay to do. <laughs> I ordered too much fertilizer. I don't need that fertilizer. But thank you, Jody. I appreciate it. All right, let me go ahead and take care of crops and animals, and we'll begin our hectic adventure for today. Okay, we have even more things to do now. So we got a thing of mead, which we're going to sell, because I'm pretty sure that's one of the items we have yet to sell. I believe it's that right there. That's actually the handle of the mead. And we still need to sell pomegranate as well. We can do that real quick. We'll just grab these and harvest the rest tomorrow, because... Ah, oh, there's so much stuff to do right now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, and we got a rabbit's foot. Which means... Hold on, I'm trying to think the best route to take. It's probably going to be faster to use the teleporter to get to the wizards than to run down to him. I think we'll do that instead. Oh, boy. Things are happening. But yeah, we got a rabbit's foot, which we're going to go take to the Joja guy. The driver outside of Joja, he's been asking for one for a little while, and we haven't had one. These things are kind of rare. Some say it's lucky. <laughs> but despite Joja being closed, he's still here for whatever reason, so... Okay, I have no idea what this is going to do, but... Hey kid, I need a lucky break. Why don't you bring me a rabbit's foot? I'll make it worth your while. Ooh. You received a special charm. You feel an aura of good fortune surrounding you. Luck is permanently increased? Oh, heck yes. Look at that. We're missing two wallet items. That's so cool. I had no idea that would do that, but that's awesome. Okay. That's going to be really nice. I had, like I said, I had no idea that's a thing. And we got our iridium pick. Our first iridium tool. Minus the iridium rod. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. That's going to make mining so much easier. <gasps> Yes, okay. What else did we need to do? We need to go... ...to the wizards, and then we need to go mining. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to get things straight here. And the amethyst is for the dwarf, not Abigail, if I remember correctly. Okay, we're gonna head up to the train station right now and go to the wizards from the witch's hut. That's kind of cool that that's now a route we can take, because that's going to be much closer to the mines once we're done with that. And we also need to stop by the Adventurer's Guild at, as well. Um, we actually don't need to, but I want to check and see our progress on some of the items. Our lovely Cat Von Sat mentioned that I should focus on slaying a bunch of dust mites. I don't know why. Or coal sprites or whatever the heck they're called. I don't, I don't even know. The little things that bounce around and you get coal from killing them. Anyway, those guys. She mentioned we get something cool from it. And I don't know what that thing is. But I feel like it's beneficial to find out. And we need to farm iron anyway. Which is on level 40. Which is, I believe, where they really start. Or at least where they're pretty concentrated. Do we have another void essence for you, wizard? We do. Hello, sir. There you go. Anything useful to say today? Nope. Same old, same old. Okay. We have the resources. It was only 100 fiber. I think I grabbed like 400. Just because I wasn't going to risk it. Junimos will harvest crops around the hut for you. And I don't know if it shows the radius. Yeah, it definitely does not show the radius. But I'm wanting to put it basically like right here. And depending on the radius of the harvest, we might... Oh, gosh. There's really nowhere to put one over here. We could put one there if absolutely needed. And one... I don't know. We'll put it here for now. That'll actually be useful. Ooh, insta-build? Ooh, and it's seasonal, too. The leaves turned fall colors. That's cool. 
Okay. By the time we get back, it should hopefully be close to two. We can hit up the Adventurer's Guild. And then get a little mining time lapse going. I love doing those time lapses. You guys know how much I love music. So I love getting to share that via the time lapses. Guys, we're making so much progress. And it's a good thing too, because we only have a little over a month and a half left until technically the game is over. And I have not decided yet how much further I want to continue. There's some stuff I want to do, but we don't need those. Yeah, there's some stuff I want to do, but again, I don't know how far I want to go. All right. Come on. Open up. Okay. Thank you, Marlin. All right. Monster eradication goals. We're only halfway to the slimes. Void spirits? I don't know what those are. Bats? Oh, we're almost there on bats. Cave insects are the only ones we've done. And duckies, I think, are only found in the copper levels. Maybe we'll see if we can't find a few of those today as well. Okay, so we're really close to bats. The skeletons, I believe, are only found in Skull Cavern. So, we'll get there, no problem. But we got a lot of work to go with the slimes, especially. But, okay, that's enough of that. Let's over head over to the mines and get our inventory dumped and ready to go. I feel like it's been way too long since we went last mining, or since we last went mining. We're gonna, I guess we don't need to dump our stone. We're gonna be taking that with us anyway. But all this stuff, and we don't even need food anymore. I'm not confident. Although, I say that, but I'm gonna hang on to, gonna hang on to my blackberries anyway. Okay, let's, let's see if we can't get ourselves a lot of iron and slay a lot of dust sprites at the same time. Here we go. Okay, 54 iron ore, not, not terrible. Fantastic, eh, kinda, not really, but also not terrible. So, I'm, I'm okay with it. And we're gonna have the ability to take back everything, except our fiber. And I'm kind of, oh, actually, no, we'll take back everything. <laughs> there we go. All right, back to the bus stop. And time to organize our inventory. And head to bed. I think that was very productive. All right. I think I'm going to start making a habit of checking checking on our casks like twice a day. I don't know if I should be doing that or not. But I don't know why I was just about to try and age crystal fruit. That's not exactly a thing that you can do. Oh, boy. Okay. I almost headed back outside. I'm not sure why. I think that was productive. We got the whole wizard quest chain done with the, the witch. Oh, we got ourselves a Junimo hut, which is awesome. I can't wait to check that out next episode. And hopefully we have a harvest coming up because otherwise we won't really get to see it in action. 
And I need to head to Robin and get get things repositioned, get that well gotten rid of. That didn't make sense. Remove the well, put the Junimo hut in its place. And it's raining today, so we should have plenty of time to... Well, I don't know. We'll figure things out before next episode, though. Thank you guys very much for watching, though. It's been fun. I hope you have enjoyed. I know I sure have. I will see you guys in the next episode, though. And until then, as always, take care. <laughs>